Alright folks and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the controversial issue that is what GPU should you buy. You know them two companies AMD and Nvidia that are always fisty cuffing online? Well let's face it whether you are a first time builder or a PC enthusiast that is in need of an upgrade the internet is full of opinions. So putting all fanboyisms aside, wait is that actually a word? and trying to be neutral down the line I am bringing forward to you today my top 5 reasons why to buy a NVIDIA GPU currently I am still using my Zotac GTX 970 Amp Omega edition it is a great card and has served me on the channel well and that is where the magic happens so without further ado let's get into my top 5 reasons to buy a NVIDIA GPU in no particular order so number five on my list is Nvidia's strive for lower power consumption and lower TDP. Now the reason I've put these two things in one point is because a lot of PC gamers refer to them as being the same thing. This is not actually entirely true. Now Nvidia actually did a great job at getting a lower TDP and lower power consumption with the most recent line of graphics cards, the 900 series, due to their Maxwell architecture. Now. TDP and power consumption are very different. Uh, one thing they have in common though is that they are measured in the same units. They are measured in watts, which is essentially joules per second or energy over time. Basically, TDP is essentially the most amount of heat that the card can give out or generate uh, being put under realistic but stressful environments. And power consumption obviously is directly linked with that because the actual heat that comes from the graphics card is to do with the power or electrical inefficiencies of the card so for example uh, you could be putting out a set amount of power and maybe only a, s a certain percentage of that power is useful to the card the rest is waste and that is essentially heat so heat is a byproduct of power and electrical inefficiency and that is what creates TDP. So they're both uh, strongly correlated. So if you are getting a higher TDP, you're going to be getting a higher power consumption. If you're getting a lower TDP, a lower power consumption. So looking down to my bottom left here, you can see the GTX 980 Ti uh, Maxwell architecture has a lower TDP than its AMD counterpart, so to say, up in my top left, which is the uh, Fury X. Also, looking at uh, bittech.net's graphs, we can see that actually, because the 980 Ti has a lower TDP than the Fury X, it actually has a lower power consumption, and this holds true with the graph included. Number four, NVIDIA's good driver support. Now, whether you're a fan of NVIDIA or AMD, you cannot deny that NVIDIA have put out more drivers than AMD. We have our WHQL drivers or our WICL drivers, as people like to call them. And basically, NVIDIA have had a game-ready driver for every AAA title. Basically, this came out in PC um, for the last two or three years. Uh, this is designed to play the game optimally using NVIDIA's cards. Now people could spin this on its head, uh, most notably with The Witcher 3 as there have been problems with these game ready drivers. So they're not all perfect. Up to number 3 on my list, let's not forget about NVIDIA Gameworks. Now NVIDIA Gameworks is exclusive to NVIDIA users and NVIDIA titles. Basically it offers different technologies like Visual FX and PhysX in certain games to offer a more cinematic and interactive experience when playing games. Now, this is absolutely phenomenal. Um, two examples for anybody to look up uh, further to get my drift of what I'm talking about here would be Hairworks in Witcher 3 and the PhysX Flex technology in Killing Floor 2. But basically, if you want to run these at a very stable frame rate, uh, with all these uh, exclusive technologies on it can be very taxing and you might need like a beast of a computer or a very uh, good system to run it um, I can say you know for me it is worth it it does uh, absolutely change the feel of some games and it does look stunning and jaw-droppingly good um, but yeah definitely a thing to check out if you want to go team green 
Moving swiftly down my list to number two is another feature that is exclusive to NVIDIA users and that is SLI, Scalable Link Interface. It is a technology developed by NVIDIA which is geared towards multi-GPU users. It is a algorithm uh, that uh, increases processing power available for graphics inside your machine. So if you wanted to SLI two or more graphics cards, you need to remember that you have to be using exactly the same GPU. So for example, you would need two GTX 970s or two GTX 980 Ti's regardless of brand. So you could have an MSI and a Gigabyte together or you could have a reference and an EVGA together. It doesn't really matter just as long as it's the same card. One thing to note however is whatever game you're playing, if it doesn't have an SLI profile built into the game, you can't actually take advantage of two GPUs. Also, when you're using SLA, one thing you need to be careful of is scaling. People seem to have the impression that if you have two or more graphics cards, you're going to have double the performance. Well, that actually doesn't work that way. It actually works kind of on a uh, deteriorating scale, where, say, for example, if you have a second card, you'll get a certain amount of uh, performance increase. And then if you go to your third card, that performance increase will actually lower. You're still getting an increase, but the actual change will lower with the more cards that you put into the machine. So you need to be wary and read up more on it. So the top off my list at number one is Shadow Play on the GeForce Experience. Now, I'm putting the two of these together as they both come from the same piece of software, which is the GeForce Experience. Now, Shadowplay is the content creator's dream. It is a means to record gameplay or record screen capture on your PC. It is absolutely fantastic. In Shadowplay, you can set your own hotkeys, so you can toggle manual recording on and off at any one given time. But a great thing, if you're playing a online game or a multiplayer game, say you're playing Call of Duty or Battlefield, and you get a great kill streak or something amazing happens, uh, even in a single player game, basically you can press a key and it automatically saves the last 20 minutes of gameplay that you have just played onto a file on your hard drive. This is amazing. It uh, allows you to record up to 60 FPS. It is great for capturing them golden moments in game and if you're a content creator it is absolutely the best tool you can have. Um, with Shadowplay it is supported with every uh, NVIDIA graphics card after the GTX 650. It was meant to come out when the NVIDIA Shield was meant to come out however it was postponed. It is brilliant. I cannot credit it enough. Honestly, the one reason I would buy NVIDIA, uh, brilliant, brilliant piece of software and it's great for me when I'm doing a game review or talking about a game, I can just take my footage, you know, regardless of resolution, you know, because obviously I play on 1080p but you can record with Shadowplay, say in 4K, I can take my recording, I can put it in my YouTube video and all sweet and it is perfect. Uh, with the GeForce experience as well, it scans your hard drive for games that are installed on it and basically it tells you by scanning your hardware configuration what way you can play the game optimally. Now a lot of people will argue against this, especially in the PC community, because we all like having different preferences and uh, choosing our graphics options accordingly. Uh, and people will argue, well, what is optimally? Some people will say optimally is 60 hertz. Some people will say really high refresh rate, like 144 hertz, uh, taking away anything else that's taxing, taking away shit like motion blur or crap like that. But that's down to you as the consumer and you as the NVIDIA buyer. So folks, that's going to finish up my video on the top five reasons to buy a NVIDIA GPU. If you liked the video, please throw a thumbs up on it down below. If you really enjoyed my content, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out an awful lot and allows me to grow. You can follow me anytime on Twitter and Facebook at ForTheBanterNI. Until next time, my friends, and good NVIDIA consumers. Goodbye.